This is the moment Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lander made a flawless touchdown on the moon. The uncrewed spacecraft gently landed at 3.35 a.m. ET on Sunday, near an ancient volcanic vent in Mare Crisium, a vast basin in the moon's northeastern quadrant. Firefly is the second private company to land on the moon, and the first to do so without any issues. The Blue Ghost lander, about the size of a compact car, carried 10 scientific instruments designed to conduct experiments over a 14-day lunar day. These experiments aim to enhance our understanding of the lunar environment and pave the way for future human exploration. Firefly's success shows the growing role of private enterprises in space exploration, aligning with NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program. This initiative seeks to foster a competitive lunar economy and gather crucial data ahead of planned astronaut missions later this decade. Following its launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on January 15th, Blue Ghost embarked on a journey totaling approximately 2.8 million miles, transmitting over 27 gigabytes of data and supporting multiple scientific operations. Notably, the lander's lunar GNSS receiver experiment successfully tracked signals from the Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, at a record-breaking distance of 246,000 miles, demonstrating that Earth's positioning technology can function on the Moon. As the mission progresses, NASA's instruments will conduct tests and demonstrations of technologies for lunar subsurface drilling, regolith sample collection, satellite-based navigation, radiation-tolerant computing, and lunar dust mitigation. The data gathered will provide valuable insights into how space weather and cosmic forces influence Earth. Private companies are contributing significantly to space exploration. As more private missions reach the moon, we move closer to a future where lunar exploration becomes a routine endeavor, unlocking new scientific discoveries.